Hello and good morning, good afternoon, depending on where you're at in the world. This is Jason Ulrich with Top Shelf Traders. Thank you for joining. It's noon on the East Coast, so we'll give it uh, a minute or two as folks are filtering into the room. We've got a really nice sized group here. Thank you for taking the time to join us. So this is uh, part of our free training series. Uh, you can find these on our site, and we'll also send out notes to you uh, from Top Shelf Traders, just letting you know when these are at. We're very happy to have Joe Rios from Rios Quantitative joining us uh, today. Uh, he is going to be talking about preparing for upcoming sentiment shifts, and if you're watching the ES or basically anything, you've got to know that something is coming, and if you've heard Joe's name before, uh, well, that wouldn't be any accident. Uh, he has been around for quite some time. Uh, he's spent time with Prudential, Citibank, and Solomon Smith Barney's, and he's well regarded and known in the industry. And today, Joe's going to talk with us about how to learn how to get ready for an upcoming sentiment shift and what you should be looking for with any of the different or countless. Uh, tripwires that are out there ranging from news to market dynamics to tweets, whatever it might be, um, especially with the political environment, there's any number of things that can send markets heading in one direction or another. And having watched uh, at least a few of Joe's prior presentations, I can tell you that they're very insightful. They give you a good look as to what's going to go on or at least what some of the indicators are to watch for in the future. So as always, these sessions are recorded. And uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, we like to keep them informal and interactive. So we've got the questions box open. And let's go ahead and enter any questions that you might have. I'll keep an eye on that. Before we go any further, uh, let's just do a quick sound and visual check. Let's make sure that you can see Joe's screen OK and that you can hear me OK. Go ahead and just put a yes in the questions box. If you're having any issues whatsoever, uh, just let me know. And uh, we'll see what we can do about it. So OK. Good, good, all right. We got a few folks filtering in, so just let me know that you can hear me okay and that you can see the screen okay. All right, perfect. All right, well, hey, Joe, thank you for joining. Uh, it's great to have you here. We've got a good sized group here for you, so uh, I'll turn it over to you and I'll, I'll chime in if there are any questions that surface, just so you have visibility to those, okay? All right, thanks, Jason. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's presentation on the upcoming sentiment shifts in the markets and how to profit from it. I'm Joe Reels with Reels Quantitative. I started my career on Wall Street 27 years ago. For those that don't know me, I've worked for some of the largest financial institutions, including Citibank. During my career, I've been a strategist, systems developer, trader, and a speaker on the topic of electronic trading. I have received a few industry awards and recognition from some of the largest financial institutions including Franklin Templeton Group and Oppenheimer Funds. My past experience on Wall Street has uniquely qualified me as a developer of quantitative trading systems. In 1997 I launched the trading room. Today the trading room is a live online futures trading room. Every morning we showcase our analysis and our trading strategy including trade entries, stop loss, and they're all ahead of the trade. We have been ranked in the top 1% for five years in a row. In this special presentation, I'm going to share what is working in the financial markets right now. This includes current market behavior, how to understand sentiment shifts, the three main drivers in the markets right now, and a new breakthrough in automated trading designed to take out the guesswork of analysis and trading, plus how to profit in the current environment. Historically, May through September has been known as a hostile trading environment for most momentum and short-term style of traders. Since 1950, the S&P 500 average monthly gain for these months is just 0.2%. 
Recent volatility and volume have been at historic lows, causing frustration to most momentum and trend following traders. False breakouts and breakdowns is common during low volatility environment. However, I believe that's about to change, and we've actually already started seeing some changes in the last couple weeks. Forecasting market behavior is one of my specialties, and I'm going to share with you some of my techniques. I believe there is a seasonal shift approaching, as well as a busy economic calendar. We also have several crowded trades and rising geopolitical risks in the markets. So what's driving the markets? Well, I'm forecasting upcoming sentiment swings in the markets. But before we continue, let's review what's been driving the global markets. Is it the new administration in the White House? Is it the Federal Reserve, central banks? Is it the geopolitics? Uh, let's take a look at the current trade themes in the markets. We have the Trump trade, the inflation trade, the liquidity trade, and recently we had a geopolitical trade with rhetoric between North Korea and the U.S. Got a little ahead of myself on the slides here. Here's a correlations chart with the S&P 500 shown in white, U.S. dollar in green, U.S. bonds in blue, gold in yellow, and the Japanese yen in red. The U.S. presidential election in November is the starting point. The first move we see is the Trump trade. Stocks and the U.S. dollar went up, while bonds, gold, and the Japanese yen declined. At the beginning of the year, some of the instruments began to retrace. You can spot it with bonds, the Japanese yen, gold, and the dollar. However, different events have sent these instruments in different directions. For example, President Trump gave one of his first speeches and the Trump trade came back to life. Later, we had economic data with the non-farm payroll creating another market shift. Then the Philly Fed data generated another shift. ECB President Draghi's comments during a press conference created another shift in the, in the opposite direction. Then came FBI Comey testimony followed by Fed Chair Yellen's speech, causing yet another move in the markets. And recently, the rhetoric between North Korea and the U.S. has caused markets to move again. The takeaway from this chart is not just the news and data releases that can cause directional price change in the financial markets, but those changes at times can last several days. And the reaction from certain asset classes are usually recurring, providing an edge for the informed trader. Let's dig into some of the recent theme trades. The Trump trade was about U.S. growth or the potential of U.S. growth, creating inflation. It's about fiscal policy including corporate tax reform, infrastructure spending, and the rollback of regulations. The administration's ability to enact economic policy can have an impact on the financial markets. And of course, its inability to enact policy can also affect the markets. The reflation trade is similar to the Trump trade, but is not the same. The reflation trade is driven from economic expansion and is based on the business cycle and the impact of corporate earnings. Sector rotation is helpful in identifying the reflation trade. It's usually a global occurrence. The liquidity trade has been in effect since the financial crisis of 2008. It stems from excess liquidity the Federal Reserve and other major, major central banks have injected into the financial system. At the heart of the liquidity trade is monetary policy and interest rates. For the past several months, there has been the potential of geopolitical risk in the markets. Recently, with the rhetoric between North Korea and the U.S., we witnessed powerful intraday moves in stocks, bonds, 
the Japanese yen, and gold. Here's a breakdown of current market catalysts and what to watch out for. The Trump trade will be subject to good or bad news coming out of Washington, D.C. The reflation trade is sensitive to economic data surprises, corporate earnings as well. And we've got a busy calendar coming up, so I'd be paying attention. The liquidity trade spots monetary policy shifts. The current buzz is who will replace Fed Chair Janet Yellen. I would also pay attention to schedule speeches from Fed members. Understanding intermarket relationships can help in identifying specific behavior patterns found in the financial markets. Most of the trade themes we just discussed contain behavior that translates to market sentiment. The most common sentiments are risk on, risk off flows, the carry trade, and the crowded trade. The effect of the risk on, risk off trade is greater volatility and greater asset allocation. A huge movement of large institutions and investors all in or all out of certain asset classes has caused many assets to become highly correlated. Here's a recent risk on risk off chart published by Bloomberg. The key thing to spot in this chart is the change from one week to the next. Gold, the Swiss franc, and the Japanese yen went from substantial losses to gains in just one week's time. The carry trade is one of the best kept secrets in the financial markets. I was involved in a very large scale carry trade just before the financial crisis in the early 2000s. So I'm very well aware not only of the structure and details but also of the behavior of the institutional players. The structure of a carry trade has institutions borrowing at a low interest rate and investing in something else that has an anticipation or anticipated higher rate of return. Investors borrow in low interest rate currencies such as the Japanese yen, converts the proceeds to US dollars, and then invest in US dollar assets. U.S. stocks is one of the most popular assets since the 2008 financial crisis or after, the, after it began. When the carry trade is active, you can easily spot a negative correlation between the Japanese yen and U.S. stocks. The crowded trade effect is sudden volatility which spikes when the crowded trade gets tripped. It's the mass movement of large institutions and investors executing similar directional decisions in the same asset class. The effect is greater potential of volatility and more importantly greater directional risk. This is a chart from Bloomberg showing a Merrill Lynch Global Research Fund Manager survey. Take note that since the initiation of the Trump trade in November up to April, the US dollar was long, or the US dollar long, bullish dollar, was considered the most crowded trade. And recently, a few weeks ago, the US dollar short is now the second most crowded trade. So to recap up to now, I've identified the most common theme trades found in the markets today and how institutional activity triggers volatility in the markets from key events and they're fast approaching us. Many of you are familiar with our most advanced and sophisticated quantitative trading program, the iNewton Automated Execution System. 
I Newton is uniquely designed and built to exploit short-lived trading opportunities generated by institutional trading activity driven from market sentiment shifts. It has three main compartments with algorithms to handle market behavior, sentiment shifts, and of course favorable risk to reward trade setups. Here's a sneak view inside of iNewton's automation and the primary strategy drivers including risk on risk off, the carry trade, and technical bullish breakouts and bearish breakdowns. Let's take a look at some recent trades and compare them with the market sentiment of the day. All the trades were generated automatically with the iNewton trading system. The following trades I'm going to show you will include geopolitical risk, which is the risk off trade, also the risk on trade on a sentimental reversal, the liquidity trade triggering the crowded trade effect, and the unwinding of the Trump trade, and also mixed market condition when the markets are, are paused or consolidating. At times you also can get signals. A few weeks ago, Bloomberg Headlines News, before our trading session even started, read, tensions surrounding the Korean Peninsula once again sat global equity markets with European stocks following their Asian peers into the red as the rhetoric continued and investors remained on edge. Well, here's how I Newton entered a trade, of course, automatically during the risk-off sentiment which resulted in the unwinding of the carry trade sending the Japanese yen into a bullish rally. This trade was good for $525, two contracts. Just a few days later, headline news from Bloomberg, market sentiment shifted from risk-off back to risk-on. The risk-off mood that gripped the markets last week showed signs of easing with shares of European following Asian stocks higher and American stock futures advancing as the prospect of a war between the U.S. and North Korea receded. Havens, including gold treasuries and the Japanese yen, fell. And I Newton again automatically triggered a long position in the Nasdaq futures. This trade began at 8:15 a.m. and ended at midnight. And it was good for about $2,400, and that was for two contracts. On the following day, Daily FX News reported: just when you thought it was safe to call the U.S. dollar dead, U.S. retail sales has come out and print, printed the best print since December. It's worth noting that speculative positioning as shown via the CFTC is highlighting U.S. dollar as an overcrowded short from institutional speculators. In plain English, economic data release sent the liquidity trade into unwinding mode as the crowded trade effect triggers short covering the U.S. dollar pushing the euro into a quick sell-off. I Newton reacted again and it caught the, the euro short for a quick profit of 625 bucks, two contracts. This trade lasted less than 15 minutes. A couple days later, Zero Hedge tweeted a breaking news alert sending the Trump trade to unwind positions with a sentiment shift to risk off. I knew didn't hesitate, take advantage, catching the short in the Dow futures for about $2,000 for two contracts. Trade started at 9.57 a.m. and it closed same, same day in the evening, early evening, at 6.57 p.m. 
and it was all on automation. Now the iNewton's designed to keep you out of the market during choppy, sideways price action. But at times it can't get you in some trades. It's not common. Usually those trades are, um, are losses. And here's an example of one. As Bloomberg reported, the U.S. dollar dipped slightly but held on to most of Friday's gains. Its biggest daily rise this year, made after data showed the United States created more jobs than forecast in the previous month. And it did send the Japanese, or I knew, to take a trade in the Japanese yen. Mixed markets is probably one of the toughest trading environments to trade as a momentum or trend trader. This loss was good for $175 for two contracts. Now, we began trading the iNewton in our live trading room in November of last year. In January of this year, we officially launched it to our members so they can trade it for themselves on their own computers. Since January, iNewton has realized $25,000, approximately $25,000 in profits. These are all out of sample or live trades based on two contracts. One of our members sent in an email with this praise and satisfaction of iNewton. John's from the Tampa Bay area of Florida, and he wrote, After careful review of all the things iNewton does for you, I decided to go for it. It only trades, by the way, he's been a member of ours for probably five or six years or longer. So he knows us. It only trades four hours in the morning, and I just turn it on and watch. So far this month, starting May, first trading account, or for, uh, for his trading account, it increased in value by 7361 through May 23rd. I'm only trading two contracts at a time, and I look forward to increasing that as my account grows. He was a discretionary trader that used to, used to use our indicators. And it took a while for him to, to get on the, on the bandwagon with, with automation. So he goes on and says, the automation system also takes away the stress of the entries and the exits. system is great. And Ken has done a fantastic job coaching me to get comfortable with the system. Thank you and Ken for all you have done. Now, uh, if we go back to here, you can see he's up. He should be up another $7,000 since starting last May. So now's uh, your opportunity to supercharge your trading experience. What I've shown you here today really does work. I've been trading with intermarket correlations for over 20 years. I really don't know anybody that does this um, on the level um, being offered to, to its members or, or other traders. Uh, the only intermarket correlation systems, black box systems that I've seen are all in, on the institutional level. And I know that because that's my background and I still consult, uh, you know, in that arena today. So I would tell you to get ready for these upcoming sentiment shifts. I think there's a lot of them coming up. By the way, we had a, a slight one yesterday. We had um, maybe eight, between eight and nine o'clock. News hit the tape that Secretary State Tillerson was going to make comments on TV, and, and you saw the stocks dipped down, uh, thinking maybe he's resigning. And after he gave his, his talk and he didn't resign, uh, stocks took off. So it's happening, and I think more is going to happen. And I'm just checking right here. And it looks like uh, I Newton just uh, the only trade of the day was a long S and P, and it just took uh, for one contract around 300 bucks, I believe. Let's see if I can I can't show you that's on another computer, but maybe I can 
send it over on a uh, to this computer. Anyway, in the meantime, we're offering you a, a free trial so you can download the iNewton on your own computer. We've got a fast track plan. You can get up and running in just a couple days. We're going to give you access to our award winning live trading room. We're going to give you training classes and we're going to teach you about correlations. And during the free trial, you'll get all the support that we can give you. So this is a this is a free a special free trial so you can experience it firsthand on your own computer. And I believe uh, Jason's going to send it into the uh, chat box. In the meantime, I'm going to try to send uh, this trade over to this computer. Yeah, I'm just putting it in now, Joe. So uh, okay. it should go out to everyone here in the audience. And, and Joe, w w quick question that's come through is, uh, how is I Newton back tested? Uh, so, uh, as you look at it and validate a system like that, what was some of the back testing that took place uh, just to verify the trades and the history? Well, first of all, we've traded um, this strategy I have for many, many years, uh, but it was without the correlations as part of it. So, what we would have to do is when whenever we had a signal, we would have to uh, validate if it's risk on, risk off, and so forth. And so we had final decision. And then about a year, you know, with, with as technology got has gotten better and better, um, I updated the system to include correlations. Um, so last year we did, might have been around September, October, no, I'm sorry, the summer up to September, we were working with it with the coding of it. And we did one year's worth of back testing. Yeah, you got to download a lot of data, and um, and it, it takes a lot of patience. But at any rate, we did that, and the results were 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 good, and they pretty much lined up with what we were were what we had been doing for years and years. So we decided um, to launch it, or we we decided to showcase it in our trading room that began last November and then in January we offered it to our members we have a healthy um, you know amount of of um, members that have been trading for us you know for several years and they you know they got in like John did and so we have one year of out of sample trades which means live trades that's great so, um, and we just had a trade today. If I can get it, um, I'm trying to send it over. One other question that's coming through: How do you prioritize what leading indicators or news events to to watch for? Um, and Did you ask I'm me that gonna, again? The, the, yeah. The how do you prior How do you prioritize which leading indicators or sentiment events to watch for? Tillerson uh, coming out with. Uh, a press conference or getting ready to say something is is certainly a big event but are there other smaller things that you watch for that might otherwise be overlooked by a lot of traders yes at different times of course there's going to be different things so you know it, it depends what you know what are what are the current themes and the current themes right now um, or at least surfacing again is yelling you know who's going to take over the chair uh, so they came out with a short list recently in the last couple of days. So I would say that in the next week or two or three or four, that's going to be important. So I would pay attention to scheduled Fed speakers. So there's a short list and actually um, I have on our blog an article from Bloomberg. If you go to Bloomberg.com, you can see who's on the list. There's, there's an article. Of who's on the list so I would pay attention when they speak now keep in mind that Trump is a builder and as a builder people in real estate like low interest rates 
he wants to put this economy or our economy in full, you know, pedal. What is what's he saying? Metal yeah. pedal to the metal. Pedal to the metal. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, he wants to do that, and of course, you know, you've got your hawks that don't want to do that. They want to ease it slow because they don't want inflation. So if he picks someone that is dovish as far as rates and liquidity, then you got to look at how the market's going to react. Well, equities are going to love it. And that's why the equities have been running these last three or four days. One of the reasons. Equities are going to love it. The dollar's not going to like it. Sure. Bonds, bonds will like it because, you know. But, you know, from one report, from one data report to the next, will will can trigger and will trigger if there are surprises. Some of these hedge funds or some of these larger institutions to unwind some positions or to add positions. Got it. Okay. Okay. Let me see if I can find the... Uh, you mentioned, uh, I think very briefly touched on the number of trades that I Newton uh, fires off. Uh, any given session or even for a week period, what is the trading activity or does it just depend entirely on the conditions? It depends on the conditions and that's the beauty of it. I Newton is not for everybody. You know, for, for those that want excitement and they want to see four or five trades a day, I Newton's not for you. I Newton can give you three or four trades in one day and then nothing for two or three days. Um, because this the you know the old saying that the stars have to be lined up. You know, there's certain things that have to be lined up. I Newton's designed to spot, to identify when institutions, especially the macroeconomic type of funds, hedge funds, um, are putting on positions, large positions, or taking taking some off. And you can usually see that in rotation flows. And they're not always active. A lot of times they're just sitting back, not doing much. And it's just the uh, retail guys, you know, banging each other up. We don't want, I don't want to be in the market, you know, during that environment. I want to be in when the big boys are in and I want to trade with them, you know, not against them. Great. Great questions from the audience. Uh, anyone else with any questions, please just put them in the uh, questions box. Uh, we'll make sure that we get them answered. And if uh, you have any questions for Joe, we will, in our follow-up email, uh, be sure to include his email address. And, and Joe, maybe uh, you can... Uh, Let's put your email address here in the chat box so people have access to you. If we could do that, just uh, where do you want me to do it? Just in the chat box there for for everyone. Uh, address it to the entire audience there. That's uh, right where right below the link to your offer there. Yeah. Um, we have uh, more events coming down the pike. Please keep those in mind. Uh, look for a note. Uh, the registration process is the same. Uh, we will, of course. Uh, keep the, uh, we will of course record this and post it to the YouTube channel and we'll send a recording out to you as well, a uh, link to the recording so you can review this and take a look at it. And in our follow-up email, we'll also be sure to include uh, the links to Joe's site, of the offer, uh, the free trial, and any other information you might need. So. Joe, I, I don't know if you had anything else on your end. Thank you very much. That was awesome. Uh, one more, one more. I might let me see if I can download it. I took a picture and transferred it over of today's trade. If you guys are, are, are interested in seeing it, it will uh, show you something very interesting. I can find it. I'll just ask the folks in the audience. Uh, I know it's uh, coming up on 22 for uh, people on the East Coast. Uh, any other questions, just please put them in the, the questions box. And yes, of course, this is being recorded. I got a couple of questions on that. No problem. We'll get those off to you.
look for the follow-up email tomorrow morning and then the system also generates an email with a link to the uh, the video are there are there any other questions by the way I don't think so no uh, I think we're we're good all right hold on because I found it let me see if I can transfer it over to the right screen There we go. All right, so this is today's trade. So you can see it's a uh, it's a little break out there, and uh, this is a uh, these ribbons you see here is a velocity indicator. So it's got to be a leading uh, instrument. These are the correlations. Uh, this is correlated with, um, I believe, the Nasdaq, and it's also correlated uh, negative correlation with. Uh, the bonds and uh, this was good for approximately 400 bucks that's one contract and there's still another contract live so this was a um, a profit target that it hit you can see, and since then it's pulled back right now it's right around here there's still one contract open and uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a, uh, a trailing stop that kicks in in a little bit and that's how the system works it's uh, you know, you got to have a breakout. It's a breakout, breakdown system. It's got to be a, a leader, market leader with velocity. Um, and you got to have the right correlation. So this correlation is a risk on, risk off correlation. This is this is risk on. Bonds went down, stocks went up, and that's the trade. And that's an example uh, on a on a uh, trade that just closed today, or at least one contract. All right, Jason, that's all I got. All right, perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, one uh, one question that's coming in: uh, How does your system help someone who has no or literally no knowledge of futures or forex trading? Well, uh, a couple things. Uh, number one, of course, we offer training. But if you're not interested in you know in uh, in trading, but you know you wanna. You, you are interested in this strategy we have a, a, a registered licensed brokerage firm that will execute on your behalf they'll execute our systems on, on your behalf so you know we do offer that uh, the beauty of the I Newton is that you don't have to be an expert the system does it for you you know um, you can sit and watch it or you can you know turn it on or you can have somebody trade it on your behalf and we do have firms that do that for us or for clients all right perfect and and the trial you're gonna get two weeks worth of training in the in the trial and um, especially about intermarket correlations and how the markets really work great great any other questions all right well uh, we'll let everyone get back to their day uh, Joe thank you very much uh, very much appreciated and uh, look for a recording and a follow-up. And by all means, please keep an eye out for the future events that are coming down, okay? All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Thank Jason. You. Of course. Thank you, Joe. We'll talk to you soon.